Hey, welcome guys. Welcome to the new video. Because I reached the 100 subscribers, uh, I'm gonna do a Q&A. Also, thank you for the 100 subscribers. So yeah, uh, I decided to do a Q&A with the Mumbai. So I'm gonna eat some food while I'll answer some questions. So I ordered some food now. Let's see what it is. I ordered some noodle soup. Five hours later. And some dumplings. Close up of the food, the noodles and the dumplings. Okay, let's start with eating. So I have the questions on my tablet that you guys asked on my Instagram account. So let's start with some questions, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's try the food first before I answer some questions, huh? Food is good, food is good. Okay, let's start with the first question. <clears throat> the best memory from your Beijing trip? Mm. My best memory? Probably the snowball fight in uh, Universal. That was uh, a fun day. We couldn't ride a lot of attraction because of the snow, but like, at least we could have a snowball fight. Next question, favorite thing about Chowtong University? Mm, probably meeting the new people, my new friends that I made. Those, yeah. That's very nice. Where do you want to live in the future? Mm, let me think. Mm. I don't know where I want to live. Maybe still in Belgium. Maybe like I would be down to move like to China for a couple of years, like two, three, and then just move back to Belgium. Or I don't know. That is also on my work. So yeah, we'll see about that. Next. My dream job, um, it's like to become a freelancer probably. So I can work from anywhere and like I'm not bound to like a nine to five job. Because um, I graduated from uh, applied computer science. So that's why I can like code and like for coding, like freelancing, freelancing is a big thing. So yeah, maybe who knows freelancing probably. What makes me happy? Food. Food makes me happy. Being around friends, a family also makes me happy. Oh yeah. Food is really good. I um, ordered from um, I don't know the Chinese name, but like, uh, so the, like um, uh, I don't know the English name. Like it's this brand. Don't know how to say it in Chinese either, but like, yeah, it's good. 
or good. Next question. Favorite experience in China? Mm, probably traveling around a little bit with friends. And um, EP Shanghai clubbing. Clubbing is very fun in Shanghai. It's also one of the only things like you can do at night in Shanghai, so that's also why. But uh, I don't go to the club that often, so yeah. But AP Shanghai is a good club. <clears throat> okay, so um, I got here two questions. Like, can you answer all the questions in Chinese? And um, how good is your Chinese now? Uh, my Chinese is not fluent enough to answer all the questions in Chinese, but uh, I can speak a little now. Okay, before I also could speak a little, but like it improved a little bit. So yeah, I But yeah, I'm still learning. By the way, I still have a half year to learn Chinese. So we'll be good on that. Uh, next question, favorite food? I'll probably have to go with uh, ramen and sushi. Japanese cuisine. I like a lot of ramen or noodles. Noodles are also good, that's why I ordered noodles today. <clears throat> do I miss my friend group at home? Yes, I do. And I'll come back soon, maybe in like July or something. <sighs> okay. Next. So I've been recently to Thailand, but like the Thailand vlogs haven't, haven't been out yet. But like someone asked me, what's my favorite memory from Thailand? Um. Meeting the elephants, like we went to visit some elephants in the, in the old capital of uh, Thailand. So yeah, you will see those in the vlog, but like elephants are pretty cool. Next question, what's your favorite city? I probably think he meant in like uh, China. Mm. I don't know, honestly, like I haven't visited a lot of cities in China yet, so... For now, I will probably say like Shanghai because like it's a pretty nice city to be in, but like not a lot of stuff to do. Depends if you have some friends over here, then you can do a lot, but like... There are still definitely a lot of places I still want to visit in China. Any concert rock in common? Mm, I don't think I will be going to a concert in China, so no. Okay, next question. <clears throat> Do you like Mei Mei or Che Che and why? Um, that's a weird question to ask, but uh, okay. Um, I'll, I'll probably go for option number one, Mei Mei. But, um, I don't want to date older girls, so... Yeah, you know, that's why. I can also, like, at the next question, like... What's your type? So, like, Mei Mei? <laughs> Not like Mei 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 Mei, but like, you know, just younger girl than me. I'm also more into Asian, so, yeah. 
But what my type exactly is, I haven't figured that out yet. Who knows, maybe on this way, on this adventure here in China, I will figure it out. But hey, for now, just chilling. <clears throat> Next question, do people tell you that you look like Fred from the Flintstones? Um, personally, I don't think I look like it, but uh, I'll put a picture here, I think. And you guys can decide whether I look like it or not. Next question, what's your biggest ick? Mm, probably smokers. I really hate smokers. Like, don't come in my neighborhood if if you want to smoke. Just go stand 20 meters further. But like in China, if you go clubbing, like your clothes will smell like smoke. That's one thing for sure. So like, if you don't like the smell of smoke, don't go clubbing in China. Definitely not worth it. But it's really fun. Favorite Chinese? Hmm. Favorite Chinese Chinese person? Yeah, probably my favorite Chinese is like, uh, I'll put a picture here. It's a guy we met in a, a hotel randomly. We were like just like talking and uh, drinking a little. And then that guy came up all drunk. And uh, yeah, he was like, he joined us for the drinks. Oh, yeah. And I also can ask the next question with it. Fav favorite Beijo? Um, so like I only tried one Beijo and that's a Beijo that the guy bought for us. Like so we could drink together. So like it's also in the picture probably somewhere or like a video I will show you. Yeah, I was just like talking with my cousin, non-cousin Beijing. So yeah, you know, very nice. So favorite bubble tea order? So probably like the basic brown sugar, the uh, tapioca bowls. But like, I'm more like a person who orders like lemon tea. Because I really like lemons a lot, so that's why I buy lemon tea or just like drinks with lemon in it <clears throat> next favorite favorite Misha uh, order of course the Bing Chilin Highland the, the ice cream there was really cheap I paid like 15 baht for one, so like that's how much is it? 40 cents in euro. So it's very nice, and the ice cream is also very good. Should definitely try it out. They have like stores like all over the world, I think, like a lot of places, especially in Asia though. So if you come to Asia once, try the Mishu Bing Chuling. And all of 10 recommend. <clears throat> Next question. Favorite cousin that is not a cousin? Um, let me think about that one. Yeah, it's probably gonna be Beijing, the guy you know. The guy that comes in my vlogs, like the crossovers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's not like family, family, but he's family. So yeah, that's my favorite non-cousin. Not a cousin. Okay, the next question. Fight 100 midget-sized tigers or fight one tiger midget-sized? Yeah, um... Probably the the one tiger that's midget size. Just like if he's small, he can't do that much damage. I think. I hope. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Let's check the next questions. Do I feel like my Chinese has improved a lot? I also answered this question before already, but like, 
reading wise and like writing wise my Chinese improved like speaking wise not a lot but like a little like my vocabulary got like bigger my vocabulary bank got bigger but like I didn't speak a lot of Chinese here in China mainly because like all my friends are like non-Chinese non -Chinese, like they don't speak a lot of Chinese with me at least so yeah I think this is the last question what do you miss the most in <clears throat> Belgium probably my friends there yeah my friends it's like Belgium honestly is also not a lot of things to do but yeah my friends I think that's it for all the questions. Let me check. <clears throat> oh no, I got like two questions. When girlfriend? Um, good question. I don't know yet. We'll see about that one. Just chilling right now in China. Yeah, I think I've had all the questions, but like I still have some food left. So like, let's let me like just answer some like common questions. So like things you guys don't know about me because like I never did a QA and a or anything so like my name is Shang uh, right now I'm studying for a year in China in Shanghai Kaotong University I'm doing a language course here uh, learning Chinese for a whole year yeah you know I already graduated like I said before from a major called uh, applied computer science so like I know how to code like make websites and stuff I live in Belgium. Mm, I'm 23, turning 24 this year. What else? In my free time, I like to play games, uh, hang out with friends, I eat, yeah, eat. I like eating a lot. Yeah, that's about it, I think, yeah. Okay, so let me let me talk about the like upcoming content. So like mm, after this video probably like two Thailand vlogs. Um and then I think I'm gonna record um Chinese New Year vlog, it's like Chinese New Year is coming up. And uh, I'm going back to my hometown in China, Qingtian. I'm probably gonna record some over there too because like my family is also coming from Belgium to China to celebrate it so I'll see how much I can record over there um, then I still have to do a room tour like I've been telling myself to record a room tour for like three months already but like I haven't done anything yet but I own you guys that one Mm. For the rest, I don't know yet. So, like, what what content do you guys want want to see on this channel? Let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll do it. But like, probably some travel vlogs also. A week in a life as a Chaotong University student. Maybe what I eat in a month. Who knows? We'll see. We still have a lot of options. Okay, so like I had every question, I answered them already. Like most of them, some are questionable questions, so like I won't answer them, but hey. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, do give a thumbs up and subscribe, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, if you have some any suggestions in the for upcoming videos let me know in the comments below so i'll see you guys in the next video see ya